Today I'm going to show you how to install a NoPixel 4.0 inspired version of OxTarget created by this person. OxLib is a dependency, so make sure you have that installed properly. I'll leave a link to the resource as well as the target documentation in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once you're there, hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then drag it over and remove the main from the end. After you've done that, open the folder, go to new and select text document. Then we'll call this config.cfg. Select yes, and then open it up. Then click the link in the description that takes you to the documentation. Then scroll down and copy all of this here. Then paste it in the config that was just created. There are some options in here you can change. Zero is disabled and one is enabled. The first one is the option to click left alt or the key once and have the target appear that way instead of holding it down. The next one is the default key to use the target. L menu is left alt. The commented out link takes you to a list of the 5M keybinds. Then there's the option to have a sprite displayed when using the target followed by the option to use built-in targeting options like opening vehicle doors and such. Next is the debug option and the option to enable or disable left clicking. So when you use a target, you left click, then use your cursor to select whatever it is. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save. Then go back to your resources and into the QB section. Then find QB target and delete it. Then go to your server CFG. Once you're in here, make sure the target is set to true. Then you need to add the config that was created. After that, ensure aux target under QBCore. If you're using aux inventory, make sure the target is before that. Then hit file and save. Lastly, if you're using aux inventory, make sure you enable the target option. So go back to your resources and into aux inventory. And then change this to true. Then hit file and save. And you can start your server and test it out. So I'm back in the server now. I'm just going to go into the shop and buy some things. I'll open some doors and go through a dumpster just to show how it looks. So go ahead and just get these items. You still owe me a drink. Uh-huh. Okay. And then I'll put them in the trunk. I cannot believe you stand me up again. You better not be with no randomly open that. And then I'll search for this dumpster. Well, alright. That'll be all for this video. It looks great. If this helped you out and you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.